हेलो गाइस वेलकम एंड वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल जेबीआर ऑनलाइन क्लासेस लाइक शेयर एंड सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल सो हेलो एवरीवन आई इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू स्टार्ट फ्रॉम सम नंबर 23 ऑफ एक्सरसाइज 12 दैट मींस पाइथागोरस थ्योरम दिस इज द लास्ट पार्ट फ्रॉम दिस एक्सरसाइज फॉर द प्रीवियस वन प्लीज चेक द डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स द लिंक विल बी देयर ओके एंड इफ यू लाइक माय वीडियो प्लीज शेयर दिस वीडियो एंड प्लीज सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल सो हियर इन सम नंबर 23 In the adjoining figure, the diagonals of AC and BD of a quadrilateral ABCD intersect at O at right angles. Okay, then prove that AB square plus CD square that one equal to AD square plus BC square. So as here, this one uh, BD uh, is perpendicular on AOC. That means here you can write down from the triangle AOB. In the triangle AOB, this one is a right angle triangle. so here you can write down ab square is equal to ao square plus ob square okay put it number 1 by pythagoras theorem as well as from triangle cod it's also right angle triangle so here you can write down cd square is equal to od square plus oc square that it number 2 okay so now if you add number 1 and number 2 then you will get here ab square plus cd square that one equal to here ao square plus ob square plus here od square plus oc square okay you can also write down this one as ao square or oa square plus od square in a bracket and second one here ob square plus oc square sorry oc square this one in the another bracket and put it number 3 equation okay now In the right angle triangle AOD, okay, and the triangle BOC. So here in the right angle triangle AOD, you will write down here OA square plus OD square. That one equal to here AD square. And from the right angle triangle BOC, okay, right angle triangle BOC, you can write down here OB square plus OC square. That one equal to here BC square. Okay. and here it's equation number 4 and that one is equation number 5 now if you add equation number 3 with 4 and 5 then you will get here so as here 3 equation number 3 here you have ab square plus cd square and then here from 4 you can write down ad square and from 5 you can write down bc square so here in the right hand side you will have oa square plus od square plus ob square plus oc square plus again oa square plus od square and then here ob square plus oc square okay so that means here you can write down as here ab square plus cd square so here oa plus od so you can common here oa oa square plus od square and again you can common to that one equal to ob square plus oc square okay so from the diagram here you can write down oa square plus od square okay oa square plus od square that one equal to here ad square okay by the diagram here you can write down ad square and from the next one ob plus oc you can write down here bc square by pythagoras theorem so here in the left hand side ab square plus cd square then here 2 ad square minus ad square it becomes ad square and then 2 bc square minus bc square it becomes here bc square so that means it's proved now next one sum number 24 in a quadrilateral abcd angle b equal to 90 degree okay very good so here angle b and angle d both are 90 degree so here it's a b c d angle b equal to 90 and angle d equal to 90 Okay, prove that here 2 AC square minus BC square it equal to AB square plus AD square plus DC square. So first you have to draw AC. Okay, as the diagonal. So as here B and D are perpendicular, that means here from right angle triangle ABC. Okay, from right angle triangle ABC you can write down AC square is equal to AB square plus BC square by Pythagoras theorem. Okay. and from the another right angle triangle that is adc you can write down here ac square is equal to ad square plus dc square okay 
So first one is equation number one and second one is equation number two. Now if you add these two equation, equation one and two, then you will get here two AC square that one equal to here AB square plus BC square plus AD square and plus DC square. Clear? So as here, first AB square plus BC square. Okay, the next one here, you can write down here AB square plus here AD square, then here DC square and here you can write down 2 AC square minus BC square. Okay, 2 AC square minus BC square. So, I think it's proved. Now, next sum number 25. In a triangle ABC, angle A equal to 90 degree. Okay, so first you have to draw a triangle. So, that one equal to here C, here A and that one equal to here B. Okay, angle A equal 90 degree. C A is equal to A B. That means it's a isosceles triangle. And D is a point on A B produced. So, that means here this is the point D. Prove that D C square. So, that means first you have to join this one. D C square minus B D square. It's equal to 2 A B into A D. Okay. So, as here from the triangle A C D, it's a right angle triangle. So, you can write down from this right angle triangle, D C square is equal to A C square plus A D square. Now, in the place of A D, you can write down this one as A B plus B D. Okay. Because A D means here A B and then B D. I hope it's clear. So, now you can write down here D C square is equal to A C square plus and here AB plus BD, so here you can write down A plus B whole square formula. So, that means AB square plus BD square plus 2 into AB into BD. Clear? So, next line write down here, sorry, write down here DC square minus BD square. Okay? Then that one equal to here, it's AC square plus here AB square. AC square plus AB square. And then you can write down here 2AB into BD. Okay. 2AB into BD. Oh, here you know that is AC is equal to AB. It's given. That means here AC square definitely equal to AB square. So you can write down here AB square then plus AB square. Okay. And then here you can write down 2AB into BD. So here you can write down 2AB square plus 2AB into BD. Now, if you come on here 2AB, so it becomes here AB plus BD. And AB plus BD means you know that, that one equal to here AD. Okay. And now it's proved. Now, next sum number 26. This is the last sum for this video. So, guys, if you like my video, please, please share this video and please subscribe my channel. So, here in an isosceles triangle ABC. So, first you have to draw an isosceles triangle. Okay. So, here ABC. Okay. AB is equal to AC. Now, D is a point on BC produced. So, D that one is a point and if you join here AD, prove that AD square equal to AC square plus BD into CD. So, first here draw a perpendicular that is suppose here AP. Okay. So, here AP is a perpendicular on BC. That means here you can write down from the triangle APD. It's a right angle triangle. So, here AP square plus PD square that one equal to here AD square. So, you can write down here AD square that one equal to here AP square. In the place of PD, you can write down here PC plus CD whole square. Okay. So, that means here you can write down AP square plus PC square plus CD square, then here 2PC and then CD. Now, from the right angle triangle APC, okay, from the right angle triangle APC, you can also write down here AC square is equal to here AP square plus PC square, okay. AC square is equal to AP square plus PC square. So, that means here you can write down here AD square, in the place of AP square plus PC square, you can write down here AC square. Then here plus CD square and then here 2PC into CD. Okay. So, as here 
ABC is a isosceles triangle and you know that if you draw a perpendicular from the vertex A on the third side then here P it must be a midpoint of BC okay P must be a midpoint of BC that means here you can write down PC equal to half BC okay PC equal to half BC so that means here in the place of PC you can write down here it's 2 into half BC into CD so 2 to cancel out okay so that means here you can write down AC square here CD square then here BC into CD now if you come in here CD so it becomes here CD plus BC okay CD plus BC so what is CD this one is CD and then BC so now if you add these two side it will be here BD okay BC plus CD that one equal to here BD so write down here AC square then CD into BD okay so according to your proof AD square is equal to AC square plus BD into CD so it's proved so write down here proved 